Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally with three thrift flip trash to treasures for you. I am just simply not ready for fall. So I am going to keep summer going as long as I possibly can. <laughs> so if you feel like me, this video is for you. If you're new here, you will find crafts, furniture flips, dump hauls, and trash to treasures. I have these uh, three shabby summer trash to treasures for you today. You might have seen this horse in a video I did a while ago. This is the, there's two sides. My husband broke it apart for me, and this is the first one that I finished. And today I am going to work on the second one that has been cleaned and sanded. And I just went ahead and put a dry brush to it with the chalked paint in linen white that is a rust-oleum product and once that is dry then i i did fill one or two little holes in it with a with a wood filler first sanded that cleaned that and then lost the footage on adding some of these iod transfers these came come from the iod transfer called painterly and uh, they're either roses or peonies and i just added them with a couple of words down the bottom and once I was finished with that, I grabbed some of the lace ribbon from the dollar store and wrapped that around her neck. And, um, and then I added some little berries that I had left over uh, from another project as a little um, wreath kind of around her neck. Added another little lace bow to that. And that is all that I did to this little horse, but I think it came out absolutely adorable. I thought it would be adorable in a baby's room or a little girl's room or somebody who decorates with the shabby chic or the, the cottage core. And then I put it with the other horse to show you them together. So if you like that, please make sure you do give me a thumbs up. YouTube will share me more often if you would like, share, or, and or comment. And by comment, you can just drop a little horse in the comment section. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. That being said, I do appreciate all of your wonderful comments and your support of this channel. It is truly helping me to grow. Now, here it is with the other horse side by side. I think they are so cute. And what a find at the dump. Free and now so sweet. Now, this takes me on to item number two. Boy, it's a toss-up. Do I like one or two better? I don't know. This is just a board that I had. It may have been a piece of cabinet door front or drawer front once upon a time. I cleaned it and I took the same white chalked paint, went around the edges and dry brushed over this. And I uh, forgot to mention that of course I did spray the horse because it is chalked paint. So with this one, after I uh, went ahead, I needed to take a paper towel, wet it a little bit and spread it around. That's the end of my chalk paint and it was a little too um, clumpy. So I did it again with a little bit of a wetter brush and that came out much nicer and smoother. So that's a good tip for you if you need to thin out your chalked paint. Sprayed that. Once that was dry, put I went to Graphics Fairy and found this. And actually, I went to Graphics Fairy and couldn't find anything. So actually, I just Googled the word cotton mill words. And it was an image that popped up. It didn't seem to have a copyright in any way. So I just printed it out on rice, rice paper. And I went ahead and tore around it. I didn't want some of the other pieces and parts to it. I just wanted the words. You'd put the Mod Podge underneath, put the Mod Podge on top, work out any wrinkles and bubbles if that bothers you uh, with your finger or you can use a balled up piece of saran wrap and then once that is somewhat dry I really didn't wait for this to dry and I probably should have or could have taken out my heat gun um, but I took out the magnolia iod transfer and in that 
there are some cotton bowls and I love that. It is so cute. So I just went ahead and you can make your own design any way that you like to do that. You um, can cut it. You can just use it the way that they have it. I like to cut it to fit the way that I want it and you'll see how I catch a little air bubble underneath that. And then once I have that, it kind of lifts right off. Burnish that down by rubbing that on. You can use your finger or the little plastic part. And then taking some of those cotton bowls, I just went ahead and added some here and there on the stems um, until I had the look that I was going for. And then added some leaves and then um, had like a little bit of a bald spot in one area in the center where um, it just was not the right section for the bowl. If I put that cotton bowl, it was going to cover the words. So I went back to my IOD transfers and from an older one, I had a butterfly or a moth left over. So I went ahead and used that in the center. And then I sprayed that whole thing. The um, Rust-Oleum two-time clear matte finish is what I like not being from the south which by the way is why my channel doesn't grow some of my <laughs> some of my subscribers tell me that if i had a southern accent that i <laughs> i would do better <laughs> being a, a yankee i guess that doesn't have the same effect for those of you who like crafters either way i do believe that cotton grows in the summer <laughs> So once that is finished, I went ahead and I took out the antiquing wax and went around the sign first and um, just kind of took that, brushed it off a little bit with a paper towel and loved the way that it came out. So I decided to add a little bit more of that um, on that top and bottom piece and then kind of framing out um, the whole thing so that it does look a little bit more like a weathered sign. And... Um, that was really all there is to it. I love this antiquing wax and the difference that it makes here. You'll have to let me know what you think of this project. Um, this is a trash to treasure. You know, it was a just a piece of cabinet drawer. Uh, you could certainly do this with any piece of wood, but I think that it came out really sweet and I love it with the magnolia vignette that I made in last week's video. I am doing my church small foyer we have a small foyer and a large foyer i'm doing the small foyer over and i believe that i am going to be using these items to go with that because i just love that uh, with the spring green color um, and i have a bench and some other things that i'm going to put in there so i'll be sure when i finally get around to doing that to put a video out so that you can see now that takes me on to item number three. This is a very quick and simple flip. As you saw the other day, I made a bunch of wreaths and I had a small one left over. And I had this beautiful blue long sprig. I do not remember where I got it. I'm going to say Hobby Lobby is likely, but it also could have been Michael's. And um, I just went ahead and clipped off here and there stuck them into the grapevine because I don't there's no need for me to glue there's a couple places that I did glue um, but in general I didn't want to glue in case I wanted to at any point in time uh, take this out and use it for something else or use a different color and reuse the grapevine base you can make your own grapevine wreath you can purchase one or I am lucky enough to have this um, on the good table at our dump we do a lot of dump hauls and we were able to um to get that actually my sister-in-law gave me eight or nine of them so this could be from that bunch as well um but it is again a trash to treasure taking something that somebody else was going to throw away and turning it into something that you can use and now if you recall a couple of months ago i did the cutest vignette for my bedroom in this blue color and I thought that this blue sprig would go so nicely as an addition to that so that is what the inspiration was for this I added a couple last minute um, flowers that had fallen off with some glue and then I took out a tag I made a tag with a 
graphic from the graphics fairy, which is the same graphic I had used in my vignette, and it is just on a much smaller scale of a blue fairy. Put that on some cardstock, put a hole in it, put some lace ribbon on it, and hung that. Later on, I end up putting some antiquing wax around it, um, not on video, but just for my own sake because it goes better with the vignette and I just really prefer that look. And here is that beautiful wreath and the vignette that I did earlier. I will try to remember to link that video in the description in case you would like to see how I made over some of these other items. These blue bottles I think came out absolutely beautiful as well as the canvas with the fairy on it and uh, some of the little tins. So it really just came out very sweet. I'm just loving that in my bedroom. Very romantic, very shabby. So you will have to let me know what you think today if you prefer the horse or the cotton sign or the wreath. If you would let me know in the comments, I would appreciate that. I thank you for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Here is a little visitor to my sister's yard this week. Take care.